do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Proud of Phoenix Media. So I want to do like a beginner's video tutorial in regards to how do you prepare your PS2 USB flash drive or external hard drive to put PS2 games on there so then you can run them using OPL, the latest version, um, using Freemic Boot or maybe using the Fortuna project. I know I've done various videos in the past about this particular topic, USB games in general, but I thought it'd be nice to do just one consolidated video of all the tricks of the trade in one video here. So for some of you guys out there, it might be common knowledge. And for those new viewers, this might be new knowledge. So let's go ahead and do this. So in today's example, we got various tools that will make the job a little bit easier. And I'll have links in the video description. We got the FAT32 formatter GUI program. We'll use this to format our hard drive or external USB drive as FAT32. OPL Manager, that will help us rename bad ISOs and also get the cover art to make it work properly with the latest version of OPL. And then USB Util version 2.2, we're gonna use this program for splitting those games that are larger than four gigabytes into one gigabyte chunks and it will work great with OPL. And then from a game standpoint today, we're gonna to do two example games. One is God of War. This game is about 7.93 gigabytes, so it won't fit on FAT32 with the traditional copy and paste method, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Sly Cooper, the first game here, is 2.6 gigabytes, so that game will work fine without any splitting. So let's go ahead and go to the tool section. Let's extract everything to its own folder. I'm using 7-zip, so you can use WinRAR, WinZip, whatever program you like to use to unzip files, basically. So one more USB util. Okay. So in this particular example, I have an external PS2 hard drive, 320 gigabytes. I got a bunch of stuff on here and we're gonna format this drive here. So I've done some testing earlier and let me show you some, some tips just in case you come across the same error. So if I run GUI format as administrator and if I say start, you know, make sure you have the correct drive up here. In my case, the letter D, I might get this error here. So the workaround to fix that is if you go into right click your drive under Windows, because it was form previously um, FAT32, I'm gonna right click and actually go to Format. Format is NTFS, default settings is all fine. Say Start. Okay, now cross your fingers, I, this should work. Go back to the FAT32 program, right click, run as administrator, and now say Start. And yes, we're FAT32, awesome. So to double check that, right click, properties. Okay, FAT32, excellent. All right, next thing we can do now is let's go ahead and copy some example games over. So first thing is um, we're gonna make a folder called DVD. In this folder, this is where you copy all your games, ISO files that are four gigabytes or less. So in this particular example, we got the Sly Cooper game, right click, paste it into the DVD folder, and it's in process, we're good to go. Um, the next game, as an example, is God of War. So I'm gonna say copy, and what happens if I try to paste it on the FAT32 file system? It's gonna say right here, God of War, too large for the destination file system, boo hoo hoo. So how do we fix this? Well, it's pretty simple. What we're gonna use is this program here called USB Util 2.2, English, run as administrator, and then what I'm gonna do is say, okay, now you could either mount the game virtually and rip it, or we can create the game from ISO, which we'll try in this particular example. So what we're gonna do is navigate to wherever this ISO is, right? So it just happens to be on my desktop here, backup folder, and um, actually it's on my desktop, and PS2 games, and okay, God of War, right? Destination is gonna be my D drive. And I know this tip in the past, but I like to manually select what media it is. So let's say DVD. And then for name of a new game, um, yeah, we could keep that the same, God of War, and say create. So it's gonna go ahead, create that process. I actually find this faster, quicker, if you rip the game, convert the game from an ISO into the split file, rather than mount it virtually, then split it. I don't know why that is, maybe it's a perception, maybe it's, maybe it's you know a horse apiece either way. So if you have a game, if you have a real game that's, that's a disc, that might be the way to go. But if you have an ISO file already on your computer, might as well just you know copy it straight, uh, do the straight conversion 
from ISO into the split file. Um, there's some comments in the past where people say that um, their ul.cfg file gets overwritten every single time and you can't display more than one game. To be honest, I don't really know why that is. I've used this program to add more than one game and have a, a list of games, uh, split games, and it works great. It works fine with OPL, latest version. So give that a try. Um, I know it works fine with USB Util 2.2. There is another program out there called USB Extreme. It program does work, but that program seems a little bit sketchy because your antivirus might say there's a virus. I don't really know if it does or not, so let's go with USB Util 2.2 instead. We know that program works great. So this conversion process is going to take a little bit longer here, so I'm just going to skip forward to the end, and we will continue with the rest of the tutorial. All right, we're done. So we're going to click on close here. So here's the game. So if I had more games to rip to convert, then this game list will get longer and longer and longer. So that's how that works. Anyways, we're going to close this program. <clears throat> and the next thing is let's go ahead and run the OPL Manager version 21.6 at the time of this recording. Run as administrator. And the program that comes up, we're going to tell it, after you say what updates to do, um, we're going to tell it where is the path of the hard drive or flash drive. So in my case, it's the letter D, D drive, say OK, save. It's going to create other folders. OK, that's fine. And then it says there's one bad ISO. Yep, I knew that already because of the Sly Cooper game. So what we're going to do here is say get title from the database. It's going to recommend a name, but the name is too long. So I'm just going to say Sly Cooper. For purposes of this example, update the file name, and we're good to go. So we have God of War, Sly Cooper. Now let's get some cover art. Make this a little, little bit nicer. So art download. Download everything, start, and scraped everything for Sly Cooper and also God of War. Awesome. So to help save some time, I'm not going to showcase my real PS2 viewers of the channel. You know exactly how my system works through the other videos. But let's go ahead and go to Tools, Game Gallery. So this is what I'm going to look like. So if I was on my PS2, if I had my OPL running and I had the cover art, this is what it looks like. So God of War looks like this. Sly Cooper looks like that. And if I go to my hard drive here, this is what the structure looks like if you're curious. So here's my God of War game. Basically, if I had more games, I had more split files on the root of this USB thumb drive, uh, hard drive actually, in the DVD folder. This is where you copy all your four gigabytes or less games. In the root is where you have all your larger games, larger than four gigabytes, split into one gigabyte chunks, saved to the root, and that's performed, is completed by USB Util 2.2. So that's today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.